Great. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Good, good. So you're visiting the beach today here at Buck Row? Yes. Which was used to be Buck Row and Bayshore. Right, right. This was Bayshore side here. Yeah. This was the Bayshore side. Right. On this side of the pier? Yeah. And the other side on that, see where that walk is right there where that, uh, it looked like them, them pier, them, them, uh, piling and stuff right straight on through there. That side was Buck Row. Okay. That first, the first thing that looks like a little trellis or right. little pier. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was uh, that was the buck row side. Okay. And that's where all the amusement things was, where they had the first roller coaster over there. And when they, I, I forgot what hurricane came through and tore a dam. 1933. Yeah, about like that. I wasn't born then, but uh, my parents were. Mhm. Mm but on this side. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't a whole lot of amusement stuff going on. It was kind of like a, a lot of games and stuff where you, like if you go to a carnival or something, mm -hmm. and you would throw your uh, balls and stuff and, you know, knock your stuff down and get a teddy bear, something like this. Here. Okay. Plus other things. And other things mean, you know, they, they, um, well, I don't know where you want that on that night, but. Uh, oh, tell me. <laughs> I want everything. <laughs> well, they they would have, you know, they would have the liquor and stuff like that. Uh, they had the women, and uh, well, this 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 was kind of like it, it was just different. If you would go like if you would go down Jefferson Avenue, mm -hmm. where you would you would see uh, you'd have all the women over here. Let's say okay. That. And uh, over that side there, you had the women over there, but you weren't allowed to go over there okay. to see them. Okay. And, uh, so, so it was kind of like a brothel. Well, they, you know, it was, if, let me see, I, I ain't never been to California because if I did, I could tell you what it kind of like, like it was. Uh, if you ever, ever been to New York and went down to, uh, what's the name of that street down there where they had uh, all the women down there? Oh, 42nd Street? No, 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 down there where they had all the women where the men used to go and stuff, you know. 42nd Street. I that think 42nd? that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the whole house was prostitutes. Yeah, there you go. Prostitutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had all the prostitutes. Uh, but they probably had prostitutes on both sides because the only ones you saw were the ones on this side. Mm -hmm. And the uh, other side there, you know, they had it like it was cleaned up, but it wasn't cleaned up. It was about the same thing. Well, did they walk around on the boardwalk or they only stayed inside a building? Well, they, they uh, in in in. In the in the daytime, they they walked around out on the beach. It wasn't really a boardwalk. And uh, nighttime, you know, they hung out the windows and stuff. You know, kind of like where you you know if you go to another place like if you, if you like if you went to Maryland where they had this had this one place in Maryland that uh you know they just had all women. And at nighttime they came out. In the daytime it was just like normal stuff. Mm -hmm. And stuff. It, it was it was prostitution and stuff mm -hmm. all over. About how old were you back at, in your oldest memories of the beach? Oh well, probably about 17, 18. And that would be about 1950. Probably. Let's see. Uh, in the 50s, yeah. It was in the 50s, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I'm 70 now, and uh, it was actually actually 70 to see. It was uh, it was interesting. Mm-hmm. And I was in with the other crowd. Yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the other crowd, you said? Yeah, in with the other crowd. So What's the know. other crowd? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, people, that, that's what people... Oh, you didn't answer me. <laughs> yeah, 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 but I mean, they was in, you know, they, in, in the summertime, this was one of the main stops, you know, for black folks and one of the main stops for white folks. How long could you take the train? I mean, how, when did they stop the train from coming up here? Well, that's that's been that's been way back when I come when I came to Newport News. They had the trolley car going then, mm -hmm. and that used to run from I guess here to Washington Avenue, and Washington Avenue was where the big shopping area was. Where is Washington Avenue? Yeah, so it was a shopping area, but it was it wasn't a mall. Newport News. Yeah, Newport News. Oh. It wasn't. But actually, the, 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 the trolley cars was kind of joined them up. Okay. And it was, uh, they had all the big shopping stores, Nackman's, Montgomery Ward, uh, CSC is it still. Woolworth. Yeah, Woolworth. Woolworth was the one that gave you a lot of trouble. When did you sit down and eat? Mm. And, uh, but it, it was, it was, it was typical. 
uh, during that time, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was in between slavery and, and, and you know, and you trying to get a little place for yourself, but you still had to go through some of that slavery stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. People calling your name and stuff, which didn't ever bother me. At the beach or all around? Well, all around. I mean, okay. you know, this, this whole area when people, in the summertime, you know, this way, the people would come and, uh, you know, and the, the, the shopping areas was uh, over on Washington Avenue. Well, okay. And then they come in there, they would come down here for the pleasure. And where, well, you know, sometimes you slip over through the fence where you swim on the white side. And then, you know, and uh, they run you back over there. Sometimes they put you in jail. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So which side was for the white and which one for well, the This was the black side. Oh, this, uh, what was this name? This was Bayshore. Oh, this was Bayshore for the mm -hmm. black one. Yeah, and that other side of the buck world. Oh, and that was for the white side. That's coat. where the amusement park and everything was. That's, that was the only roller coaster that was around. It was over there. Oh, they said that there used to be a roller coaster on the black side too, I heard. Uh, now, not, not as before I was born. Oh, okay. But uh, I can't remember that. Uh, I can't remember that. It might have got destroyed in the hurricane. Well, that, that one over there got destroyed in the hurricane because oh. they wouldn't let us ride it. And everybody, when the hurricane blew it down, everybody was kind of had to happen that it was gone because they wouldn't let us ride it. <laughs> <laughs> <And stuff like that. laughs> I mean, but that's what I mean, that's what it was. I mean, they'd be over there riding the roller coaster. And we the only thing we did was swim and, you know, and, and put blankets out on the sand. And uh, we had our beach on Morallico, you know, we weren't trying to get no tan or nothing. <laughs> and, uh, but it, but it, it was just kind of a normal, whatever you heard, whatever you saw on television, uh, whatever you read you know, while you was in school, it, it's, it's almost exactly like it was. Mm -hmm. But you still had, you, you had the black and white thing mm -hmm. real strong during that time. Do you think that people should know about Bayshore Beach that it used to exist? When they come to Buck World, do you think that there should be a part that mm -hmm. you, they should they should mm -hmm. know about it because that's right. It was something to see. It was it, it was something to see. I mean, you uh, it's just like in other city where they had the, they had the strips and stuff like that where they had the prostitutes and and uh, at night and and you know and you you had your fun and games during the day. I mean, it was a place for children, a place for grown-ups. And nighttime wasn't no place for no kids mm -hmm. and stuff. It was uh, kind of a grown-up thing, but, you know, and back during that time, I guess everybody drank liquor. And, uh, so what else did they have besides liquor around uh -huh. here? If you wanted to um, experience uh, the world in a different way, besides liquor, what else could you get? It wasn't a whole lot of that. It wasn't a whole lot of drugs. When, when, uh, the only, the, only, the only real high you got was a uh, uh, liquor, and a lot of it was was, uh, was corn liquor. Homemade. Homemade. People brought it with them to the beach. Yeah, they brought it from brought it from Carolina, Eastern Shore, mm -hmm. uh, West Virginia, and uh, well, most of it was uh, corn liquor. And uh, until the until probably about I guess in the fifties when the fifties started. The, the police start, uh, you know, cracking down on all that stuff. That bootlegging and, and you know stuff like that. They didn't before. They didn't. They didn't wasn't that hard on bootlegging.